What's up guys? We got an uh, August 2018 edition of Motown Mail with 16 month old Maddie Mo. High five. Uh, she's actually almost 17 months, but I'm, again, I'm behind on everything. So this is my non-certified slash TTM pickups from the month of August 2018. Uh, first off, here you go. Uh, I got a puck from uh, multi-time Stanley Cup uh, winning coach Joel Quinville. I got this super cheap, signed in like cool blue. It's a 2014 Stadium Series uh, puck. I guess I got it so cheap that I can let Maddie Mo play with it. Get her greasy fingers all over it and all that good stuff. Here you go. Um, next, let's see. Here. What do you want? You want this too? Um, next, I picked this up super cheap. You don't want it? Okay. So she greased it up and it's all we accomplished there. Good job. Super cheap. Uh, I was really excited to get this. Um, in 1998, that's when I really got into baseball with the McGuire and uh, Sosa uh, home run chase. Um, so I picked this up really cheap. It's the uh, September 5th, 1998 um, manager lineup card that he would have had in his back pocket. Jim Rickleman would have. Um, and this is actually from home run number 58 from Sammy Sosa that year. Uh, it's the original lineup card, and the guy printed out the box score and everything, which is kind of cool, but uh, it's the actual uh, lineup card that, you know, he would have had in his back pocket. So that's kind of cool, home run number 58 uh, from Sosa's uh, 66 home run season. Um, next, here you go, um, store going out of business in town, which is unfortunate. I got this super cheap, had a $70 price tag on it, nowhere near worth that much. Um, so I paid paid 10 uh, really good uh, football player, Lance Briggs. And he was actually in that store for signing. I'm not sure why he got it signed in black, but for 10 bucks. I mean, when the photo itself costs five, I'll take it all day long. Um, all right, moving on to TTM successes. I got this nice Al-K line on a 2002 Topps Archives Reserve. You want to show the camera right here? Put it up. She says, no, just look at my baby blue eyes. <laughs> Real fast. Okay, I got that. I got that. Looks really, really cool. It's like the refractorage, so send them a cash donation as well. That turned out really good. There you go. Okay. Uh, next, this is a really cool success from the University of Memphis. Penny Hardaway um, signed three cards for me, including a Skybox EXL and a couple others, including a Topps Rookie card. So I was real pumped to get that, actually. Uh, Bill Cower didn't have a uh, Bill Cower autograph in my whole collection. Got this uh, 1992 Pro Set signed with a Super Bowl uh, inscription. Excuse me. Here you have that one. Next, I got Tim the Toolman Taylor, uh, Tim Allen on this Home Improvement card, which is actually kind of hard to find. He's got a pretty pretty poor autograph, but uh, I guess they're real. They say they're real. I guess if it was a secretarial, they'd actually make it a little more legible. But there's a signature card. Uh, next, I sent a request to Pat Sajak and said, hey, do you mind having Vanna sign it as well? And he did. He ended up getting, he signed it as well as his Vanna White. So that's kind of a cool card. Uh, next, Guy Fieri uh, from the Food Network signed a couple of Ginters. Uh, Black Jack McDowell on two of two. Not the easiest guy to get TTM. Uh, next, Keaton McCardell, uh, McCardell uh, signed three of three for me from the Jacksonville Jaguars address. There's one, and a couple more. Next, Gilbert Brown, one of the better defensive tackles uh, this generation, former Packer, two of two. Uh, next, I got Daryl Evans on three of three. Again, not a guy that's real super easy to get through the mail, so it's nice to get those back. There's two of the three, and the third one's signed as well. I'm starting to sweat. It's not nice out. It's like 91 and really muggy and um, just not very nice. Here you go. Woo! So I'm sweating. I mowed the air not too long ago either, too, so that didn't help. Uh, next, Lenny Wilkins with a cash donation. Three of three. He was the coach of the Dream Team, Hall of Fame player and coach. There's the third. Next, Heath Schuler. Uh, two of two. Those were personalized. Took them off. He ended up keeping two of them as well. Um, next, I got uh, Eric Montross on four. And these were personalized, and I took them off. There's 
two, and two more. Man, I am really sweating bullets all of a sudden. She's big. Um, there's two more Eric Montrosses. Uh, next, Mike Morgan, uh, who is always pretty hard to get through the mail, and all of a sudden he just started signing. I already had him on my 90 score set, so I set him four tops cards, and he signed all of them. Oh, I don't like that one. Oh, boy, it's a bad angle. Didn't do that right, did I? Hang on. 4-4 four, four from Mike Morgan. What do you want? You went down? No, not yet. Uh, showed that, showed that. There's Grease, showed that. John Capaletti signed 4-4. Four, four. All right, I'm going to put you down. See you later. See you later, dudes. Later, dudes. Nope, never mind. Bad idea. Okay. Oh, my gosh, she's big. Okay. Woo. Wow, this is... I need to start cooling off before I do videos, don't I? Huh? Uh, John Capaletti on four. I don't even feel like fanning him out because it's too much work. He signed four cards. There's one of them. <laughs> uh, next, I got Leroy Jordan. Look at the sweat. The bullet just, just coming down my face right now, man. Uh, Leroy Jordan on four. There's one of them. Maybe that's easier to do. Just do that. Uh, Rick Cerrone, who's a uh, really strict one per, signed a Yankees Classics card. Uh, Ed Farmer, who absolutely hates me apparently because he never signs in anything other than like a pink or a green. He's just turning out like crap. Uh, that's it for TTMs. Um, I got this on eBay. Um, I should have taken it out of the bag, but I didn't. It's the 1990 score card. Tony Gwynn, PSA DNA slab for the 90 score set. That's, that's a nice addition. Uh, and I came to the conclusion my Robin Yount was fake in my set. I got it like a long time ago and I wasn't I was too naive to realize, you know, people were faking stuff, so I ended up getting a real one. Now it's Beckett slabbed. Um, upgrade my Lee Smith, just a nicer looking signature. Then lastly, I made a trade. We're almost done. We're almost done. We almost made it. Uh, I made a trade. I ended up getting a Bob Pettit. Uh, George Mearson signed in the back. That was just a throw-in. Oh, there's a headbutt. Uh, Trent Dilfer. Oh, jeez. Mmm. Knock the teeth around on that one. Trent Dilfer. I'm not sure if the camera got that or not. <laughs> Boomer Siason. Dwight Howard. Got a John Smoltz rookie, tops rookie. And a Jeremy Roenick score rookie. So that's it. Um, that didn't feel very good. That was, I think that's two videos in a row now. She's headbutted me. So she's a big headbutter. She likes to do the headbutt. That's her, that's her main, uh, main way of defense. Uh, or, you know, not really defense because I'm not doing anything. Okay, so that's it. Um, I got a headache, and it's going to get worse. So that's all I got for now. I want to thank you all for watching, and as always, please, can you stay, stay safe? No chance in hell. Stay safe.